Did we uh, win? <laughs> did we beat every? Did we kill everyone? We're doing still good. Alive? We're going through now, Moon Boy. Because oh, of you. Everyone's because still you. alive. That's Everybody good. else was a huge nerd. You were cool. Um, That's why we're going okay. through. Should I keep my flaming sword of moon magic? No, you should drop it because we don't even need okay. it. We got your other powers. Okay. Um, he puts it away. I will away. put the the Githka back on on my back, and I will tap the poor gnome on his. Was he a gnome or a dwarf? I don't remember. It was gnome. Oh. Gnome. Small. That gnome. I'll tap him out. I'll tap him on his shoulder and and click uh, apologetically. He's he's kind of like managed to push his shirt together can to I, stop the bleeding. Can I heal him? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I will cast um I will cast healing wor- uh, word on him. This dragonborn Willow is going to pull you all into this room. Now I would like everybody except for Eliza to take off their headphones um, oh, as oh, they are going to have a oh, private oh. conversation that the viewers okay. can watch. But it, no one else can. I can't believe you got the whole crew to just waltz in here like that. They, they didn't even like question me. Well. So where am I taking them? I can't just land there and then have them scurry around a ship. Okay. So yeah. once we get across the other side, just waltz into the top them? deck. Waltz them in the top, top deck. deck. If you've got them all out in the open there, then you know if you're the one who waltz them in there, it'll be clear. You know it'll be obvious that you are the one who. It's my bounty. Them. Yeah, yeah. Because if you walk them in there, everybody between you and uh, Ventress, you know, the guy running the Meridian Track is going to pay you for this, is going to want to claim credit. He's like, why don't we just fucking knock them out right now? And I can, we can waltz them up there ourselves. No offense, but I, I don't trust until I see the bag in hand. You're right. Okay, well, let me, I'll tell you what, I'll send Sidio with you, my little gnome buddy, and he'll kind of waltz you through there, but... Before, let me just send him down and get a healing potion from behind the bar, and then we can, then you're good to go. If you could do an insight check real quick. 19. Willop is lying to you. He's trying to send his gnome buddy down there to specifically, uh, like, get back up. Look, I like your gnome friend, but I feel like he's already had a run-in. I think he's going to freak them out, and it's going to be hard for me to get them up to that deck. You know me. I mean, you know me, Willop. Um, make a discussion. We've had check. some fun. <laughs> he is, he's quite charmed by you, obviously. Ooh, that's good. I got a 25. Man, you're just rolling them out of this dang hole. The, he, you see him kind of like realize that he, he made a play, missed it, and then is going to come out okay with it. And he's like, all right, good luck. And he like reaches over and hugs you. And then you can, the players, you all can come back in. You all see them kind of like exchange some words real quick. And he points it. Sidio, the gnome, who's like recovering, and then he kind of just like nods and looks at her and with affection and like gives Valerie a hug. The portal is activated and you all can just um, walk straight through if you want to. You guys have to follow me fast. <laughs> Willib's on the line for us. Come on. I'll gesture for Valerie to go through first. Sure, uh, okay. <laughs> so I go through first. She just kind of disappears. So she steps boy, through first. Can he check his gut? Sure. You can do an insight check, but what do you... Give me more specific... Let me... Specifically, yeah. I I think he wants to go... What did she... What did she say to you? The Moon Boy is talking to the Dragonborn about what they said. I guess I would also inquire, like... Hey, did she make some sort of deal with you? Oh, no. She's just an old friend. She threw down for you all. She kind of invoked the credit that this wasn't some, like, uh, jockeying for... Uh, a score or something like that. It's she vouched for you all. So yeah, you can roll that inside. Guys, I've rolled a natural twenty. Oh. Oh. It was a twenty-seven. Yes, twenty-seven. Motherfucker, I got a twenty-two. Uh. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. You can tell it's good D and D because Harlan starts swearing, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, she. Okay. He's flying. He's lying. Yeah. He's so he's he's lying about her. I cast augury. Oh Ooh. boy. Sure. All right. Let's strap in here. It's gonna get weird. <laughs> Moon boy goes. Uh, uh, one second, and he takes his hat off and he sticks his head in. <laughs> um, and you know, it, from Moon Boy's first person vision, you see uh, this, a field of stars appear and. There's a moon, a strange moon, that 
we haven't done our grade in so long. Yeah, I saw weird. Aaron grin and lean toward the mic. <laughs> yeah, I need to be that moon. I'll tell the dragonborn when he once he sticks his head in the hat, I'll be like, he gets sick going through. <laughs> <laughs> What would um, the moon be if she wasn't excited to be the moon? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, uh, he goes, hello, the moon. Hello? Um, real quick. Andrew, roll a deception check. For getting oh. sick going through portals. <laughs> no, great. Of course, 12. Um, okay, I'm going to hold that moment real quick for you sticking uh, uh, your head in your so you are now in this starry sky. And the moon's turned itself okay. around. And what are you asking? You say hello to the moon. So I don't hello, the moon. Hello, moon boy. I, you look well. Should I go through this portal, the moon? Should me and my friends follow Valerie Lavray through this portal? Uh, Jordan, you just get it, right? You get Wheel or Woe because it's the first time you've cast it today. So you this is the first get time, an yeah. For Wheel and Woe. Yeah. Um... You get a strong woe from the moon. Don't go through, huh? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, you know, whatever you say, the moon. I always trust you. Goodbye, the moon. I hope I see you again one day. Um, and the moon boy pulls his head out. And he goes, nope, nope. Trip, trip, <laughs> trap, trip, trap, so trip, I'm trap. Just, uh, just, just to, um, to resolve these things in order real quick. Right as when you're done speaking to the moon, um, uh, can you tell me where your AC is? Uh-oh. Mine? Yep. 17. Okay. You take uh, 32 points of bludgeoning damage. What? As he, when you say that about the... Um, when you say that about the sickness, the dragonborn looks at you and just pulls a huge hammer out from behind him, and you don't even see what is happening as he pulls it down and just smashes it on Moon Boy, Whoa. who has his hood on, and then he just smashes it two more times into him. Whoa. Um, do I get a chance we're to back into react? Initiative. Well, oh, do I no! Get a, uh, so how far what would did I, I do? Made? I would okay. just like to say the Moon Boy is still alive. Um... <clears throat> Do Just I barely. have the opportunity to get to to do Easier a protective that. field reaction? Um, it's a reaction, and you have it's sight a, on him. So it's yes. a reaction. I'm within thirty feet. Okay, yes. I will I will use a protective field reaction and try and slow down the bludgeon a little bit. You know, Moonboy said, like, hey, like, hold on just a second. So you were kind of watching him. You could see him kind of like take a look at Moonboy and just like process what's happening and then do this real quick. Brutal. Um, I was so happy with that 20. <laughs> and it was the worst thing that yeah. could happen. Oh, no. You don't know that it's the worst thing that can happen. That's true. Yeah, That's true. Say. We could have been Sarlacked or whatever. I dropped my astral form because now I have to cast it again, my second one, for the day. So this is it. I'd like to note, at least we're not fighting down in the bar. Oh, God. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. We have to get uh, out of here. Maybe? I don't know. What are we doing? <laughs> this dragonborn is going to try and smash. He's going to hit you with his second attack, though. Um, as oh, no! He's, he, but he's going to fall prone, and so he's going to take the second attack. Uh, with He took it with disadvantage after falling prone, and he doesn't have enough movement to step up, and he still hits you. So he's going to do... Um, well... 17 or no, 22 points of bl oh, uh, bludgeoning damage to you as <laughs> the he smashes falls it. unconscious. Um, click to a real quick perception check, too. Natural 20. Great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Happy to have it. <laughs> you hear voices yelling from downstairs, and there's a lot of voices yelling from downstairs, too. Uh -oh. As the dragonborn sent his gnome buddy when he was in mm -hmm. initiative down yeah. the oh. stairs to warn yeah. people. So oh, I've been I, slowly moving people on the map too um, as they are, yeah. I, when you healed him, I was like, oh boy. Um, <laughs> so they they are, you hear a, a crowd of voices like yelling from down below. I'm going to take a step forward and stand over this guy and be like, drop your weapon. Um, do please. you want to do <laughs> an intimidation? Yes, I will say, please drop Go your forth. weapon, please. 
Two. <laughs> Drop it, dirt bag. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it, dirt bag. And <laughs> <laughs> two oh nine. Hell yeah. Kai's been watching uh, action movies. Five. <laughs> He's oh. so, clearly so stoked to get be able to fight. He just stands here and watches this door all the frickin' time and never gets to smash people with his hammer. And he doesn't care how hard he's in, he's stoked. He's having okay. fun. Oh, no. um, cool. So that's going to bring up Moonboy. Can you make a death saving throw for me, please? Yeah. Oh, can I... I have a bonus action still. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, yeah. I'm going to use one of my... One of my last spell slots to cast Healing Word on Moonboy. Great. Okay. Nine points of healing. Well, you're back with nine points great. of healing. Great, great. Okay, the Moonboy casts uh, Guiding Bolt right at this guy. Will he get an attack of opportunity if I pivot behind Kai? He does, but he uh, makes it a disadvantage since he's prone. Okay, go ahead. Ox, you're out again. It's going to be a 22 to hit. Oh, um, yeah. But this time... <laughs> He does 17 points of damage. Oh so my god, I'm down. unconscious again. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's I'll tell you, unconscious is the only way you're getting the moon boy through that portal, so. I will uh, use my chatcha and I will whip it at this dragonborn. Eight slashing, but I am going to use my um, telekinetic strike to push it a little bit further with, with my mind and do an additional seven damage. So okay. it's 15 total. Alrighty. Um, he is still up. So well, what are you doing? All right, I got one more attack and that's nine damage. He is now <laughs> officially down. Uh, yes! <laughs> I'll be like, uh, I'll motion for the portal like, right, let's go. Can't go through, you know. Remember in the gravity field. Remember when we didn't listen to the. We, we he coughs up a little blood. I don't just, think we'll we make it dead. if we, tr if we try and fight our way. We could go out the window. How far to the ground? Uh, thirty feet. Seems um, like we're in a whoa or whoa situation. Yeah, it's all whoa. It's a now. real whoa, 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 whoa <laughs> situation. <laughs> it's either and that or we all jump out the window, and yeah. I don't think that's enough. From the back. I here. will grab the moon boy and pull him through the portal. <laughs> Do you want to try Contested and resist it, or are you kind of like... No, he is blinded with betrayal. Okay. Um, As the Wind Rider is pulling him through the portal. The Wind Rider. <laughs> if the Wind okay. Rider and the Moon Boy go through the portal, I am quickly behind them. Yeah. If He's making me choose between the Moon and the Wind Rider. Is there anything in this room that, that could for. shut down that portal? Do I see yeah. anything that looks like it might turn this off behind us? Um, Kai would, uh, I'm not gonna make you roll for an arcana check, but if you even, like, throw a rock toward the portal, it bounces off of it like there's a force field on it. And it seems like the key to one way. going through it is different than the key to going, like, each side has a different... There are two places you can go. <laughs> are you going to listen to me now? Please just tell me, because then I can, I can just go my own, do, do what I need to do, and and fix the fucking problems you guys have just made for me. The, I mean, the moon boy I'm, I'm ready to walk looks, away. The moon boy looks up at Valerie and he says, the moon said no! And he runs out of the room. All right, great. Uh, there's, which there's way did we go? Up Bye or guys. down? Two ways. Yeah, there's two ways. ways. There's up or down. Valerie's going up. Um, where are you running, moon boy? Uh, he runs down. Oh, okay, no. cool. So the rest of the party, oh, no. Valerie is just walking up and out to the top of the deck, and you all can decide um, which way you are going right now. I I follow Moonboy. This is completely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard Kai say the effort before. So <laughs> he's, he's never huge, said it. He stutters a little. Huge this moment. Is completely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> right. We have the so. sending stones. I'll go with her. We can. I can tell you where we are. Great. I'll go after Moon Boy then. Okay, cool. Then um, everybody except for Andrew and um, Eliza, if you could take off your headphones. I'll walk. run up to join Valerie, yeah. You all walk out on the deck of the ship. It's a cruise ship kind of combined with an aircraft carrier. There are two ships parked on this ship itself. Valerie's like moving hunched down like toward one of the ships. 
and you hear a voice uh, from behind you say, Who are you? <laughs> and what are you doing on this ship? And don't turn around. You can feel a sword press against your back flute. And Valorant, you see a very sleekly, in all black, with just a couple green lines across his uh, tunic, um, this very tall, blonde-haired elf that has just, like, very sharp features and sharp eyes. And you would recognize this character as Ventress, the leader of the Meridian track. And he says, what are you doing here? What did you do with Rochelle? I do not know who that is. <laughs> you vicious What did he liar. say? Sorry. I do not know who that is. Everyone claims they don't know who Rochelle is because what they did to her is too horrible to speak about. That is true. I've made people disappear and I'm happy to do it again. I do not know who you are. I know who this one is and he is mine. I was charged with bringing him through here. I would love to unload him, but I have a job to do. You get how that goes, right? Yes, I am doing my job currently. Who are you looking for? Um, the dwarf, uh, purple hair, cowboy hat, the golden ship that they flew in on, mm -hmm. and the uh, arcane entity known as Kai. All I've got is this. If you have room to hold him. Oh, yes. You are not allowed ship. to leave here with him. He is mine now. God, this guy is slippery, and I, w I am glad to have a place to hold him. So, if we Great. can lock him down someplace, please. Do you have a, a cell, something I can get a key to? You cannot. I can take him to holding, but you cannot have him. He's mine. You cannot have this key. There's a bounty. He's mine. Yes, and he pulls. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out three huge diamonds that you would know are worth. Um, 300 gold pieces each. Are you proposing to someone? What is this? <laughs> yeah, so... Listen, he... I need to take care of this guy. I have to have a place to keep him. If you have a cell that I can keep him in, thank God, every every time I try to get him anywhere, I, I, I've, I've claimed him for the bounty hours ago, and he, he keeps screwing with me. So I just need a place to keep him. I obviously will cut you in. Uh, but Tell I have me, to have a place to put him. Do you want these diamonds? And, what? Would you like these diamonds and to leave? No, I don't want diamonds. Okay, can you make a wisdom saving throw then? Ah! Oh no. <laughs> it's the last roll of the night. This is important. No. It's worth waiting for. It's here, I can just roll for you in the in the dice roller. Okay, fine. Yes. Oh, she rolled two. Plus terribly. one. I don't she, like his roll then. She got a five total. What? Fine, no, no. I'll roll. I don't know. Well, I rolled the exact same thing on the physical D20. Perfect. <laughs> Flute, you see Valerie, her body like swirl. Like, like almost like when she stepped into a portal, except it just seems to be like turned in on itself and suck into nothing, and she disappears. And he Whoa. looks at you, Flute, and he goes, one down, many to go. And that's where we'll call it for the All evening. All right, we'll I have an action I'm holding for when he, when we come back. <laughs>